listen, 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 Senate President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Barao Jibrin Sioe, Your Excellency, the Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, my brother Ben Kalu, my Distinguished Excellencies and Senators, all combined, my distinguished colleagues, members of the House of Representatives. Let me especially recognize a servant leader and a man of peace, a uniter, unity personified, and a man that has brought smiles to the faces of our and people under one year of being a governor. His Excellency Governor Omano and his dear wife. And thus, the Deputy Governor of Akwaibu said, and our colleague, the Civil Senator Akun Eyakanyi, Your Excellency, I want to recognize the Right Honorable Speaker and the son of my Senatorial District, Right Honorable Otong. When the Minister of uh, Gas, Petroleum resources move a motion. He came and wished back to me that as a man at the local front, he was the right person to put the question. That those who are in support of the movement for 2027 say ah, and those who are against say nay. But that he was satisfied that when they said those who are against say nay, there was no nay. Your Excellency, my brother, the right honorable speaker. I salute you with all the members of the House of Assembly. Let me recognize the commissioners who came with our dear governor and sat with the leader of the government business, Director General, Asam Asam SN, my former Attorney General, my former nominee as Ambassador to the, to the state of Russia and uh, uh, Saskatchewan and other countries. And I want to recognize all the great personalities who have come from far and wide. Former governors, former deputy governors, particularly the deputy governors represented by my own that I took over from as a senator, distinguished senator Christopher Ekpeyam, who is always with me. I salute all of you. Right Honorable Ngwe I salute you because I know that in the House of Representatives, with my deputy senate president here, you were the chairman of the South South Caucus. And all the dignitaries, heads of ministries, and parasatas, particularly the managing director of the NDDC, Sam Mokoku, and his uh, uh, executive directors, and my own, Right Honorable Victor Antai, and all others who are here. 
my great people of Akwaibu, my brothers and sisters, this is God's will Akwaibu. They say behind, behind every great man, there is a, a woman. But this one is beside and behind, and sometimes in front. My other rib, my second half, my own special counselor, my advisor, my strategist, the woman amongst women. If you have a woman like this by your side, then there is no reason why you should fail. If you fail, blame yourself. The guy tell Mama God to like you, I'm very proud of you. May God Almighty bless you. Bless the works of your hands. Elongate your tenor on earth. And then continue to give the grace to save not just the prisoners in various prisons you feed almost on a weekly basis, not just the widows that you build houses for, not just the youth that you empower, but to be able to continue to impact on humanity. In Jesus' name, I pray for you. My, my traditional fathers, represented by the president of Kukwena, and of course, the man that just gave me the award, Itayafena, and all the traditional rulers in Akwaibum said, members of the clergy, I have seen my own bishop of Ikarek Benedictus of the Catholic Church, uh, my own Camilo Zuman, and all other members of the clergy who are here. I think the bishop should be moved forward since I'm not going to speak so that he can do the final blessing. All of you that have come from far and wide, you will not have any accident. You came to witness honor, honor will belong to you. You witness endorsement, endorsement remains your own. And I'm talking about positive endorsement. And as we are you know, climbing slowly out of the stage, may all of you here, God will make something out of all of you. Uh, and who is that person here? And he can recommend that he's ready to take over from God's life Okay, let me see. So, uh, okay, just listen to this. The Lord will bless someone today. Shout. The Lord will bless someone today. Point at yourself. The Lord will bless someone today. My God will bless someone today. are my people. These are my people. Together with the rest of our one said, for the first election that I went in my life, in 2006, primaries were repeated three times. They slept on the road for three days. Am I right or wrong? And together, my Lord the Bishop, as they are coming up, the entire Aquaibum stood by Ibum Hall, and when I passed, they shouted, Let God's will be done. They shouted, Let God's will be done. When you say the will of God should be done, the will of God shows what? Good governance. The will of God shows infrastructure. The will of God remains empowerment. That's why I said the Lord will bless somebody here. Just turn around and then lift yourself and say, it is me the Senate President is talking about. It is me the Senate President is talking about. And I want to concur. What we wish for others is what will come to you. A child cannot ask the father for bread, and the father will give the child stone. Today, you are wishing that your father gives you bread. It is bread that you shall have. Am I not the man that turned boys into men? Am I not that man? Am I not the person that gave you, gave you the first international airport? Am I not the man that gave you the first flyover? Am I not the man that gave you the first digital government house? 
Am I not the one that gave you the best deputy governor's house in Nigeria? Am I not the man that gave you the best governor's office in Nigeria? Am I not that man that gave you the best balance rate in Nigeria? Am I not that man that gave you the best international stadium in West Africa? What about your international hospital? What about your international ICT center? Am I not the one that gave you the first underground pipe drainage system? Am I not that man that made it possible for the entire South South to be flooded and the private home was exempted? This is your governor. Former governor of said, 2007 to 2015. This is your uncommon performer. Because you are a private. I'm not reporting for duty. You send me to go for duties on your behalf. I will never forget the uncommon love that you have for me. As you have loved me, I also love you. I love you, and God will continue to love you. Now you saw what happened here today. The Minister of Petroleum Gas and his dear wife, the Lord will bless you. You spoke very well, but I wish that INEC Commissioner was here. Because when you said that 2027, nobody should contest, it means that in Ikarekbenen North, uh, Ikarekbenen uh, Northwest Senatorial District, only one form for Senate should be sold. Am I right? So go and tell the INEC Commissioner that the Senatorial District has spoken. So go and tell them, go and tell them, very grateful. I want to thank the security services. Thank all of you for being here from morning till now. And particularly thank my colleagues, the senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm only one among equal. They are, some of them are even more equal than me. But by the grace of God, the position was zoned by my party to South South and they all stood by me. Without them, I will not be here today. So I thank you, and I love you all. And when it is your turn, I will also support you. But try and keep me beyond 2027. <laughs> let, me, let me use this opportunity to send a message to our dear president, President Bola Ahmed Terebu. Some could have doubted him, but I never doubted him. The policies in place so far, show clearly that God is with him and that he will succeed. Amen. So I want to thank him and his vice president, my brother, the civil senator, Kashim Shetima. Let me tell you that this is the first time in Nigeria that you have a senator as a president and you have a senator as a vice president. And of course, you also have the two of them, former governors. And then also in the Senate, you have a Senate president, former governor. So we all understand the plight of the people. Let nobody deceive you. If there is anything that can be achieved for Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tunebo will achieve for Nigeria. Because he feels the pulse of the people. He has done it before in Lagos State. And today, Lagos State is one of the most vibrant economy in the whole of Africa. Nobody can doubt that. Just be patient with him. We met a very deep hole. Our brother, unfortunately, the Mephele, he tried to take me to court when I said he left us a foamy economy. But I went to court and I pleaded justification that my statement, I stand by my statement. I stand by my statement. We cannot print money and spend without earnings. And what the president is doing today is to increase the revenue of this country like he did in Lagos in order for Nigeria to take his pride of place in Africa. And of course, we owe him nothing but prayers. Imagine a president supporting your son to be Senate President. Imagine my colleagues from Sokoto to Medugri to Borono everywhere. Senator Mangunu is here, Lamido is here, all of them. They, they, imagine the Deputy Senate President, Jibri, eh? Barao Jibri. He has been a landlord in the National Assembly from 1999. And up to today, I'm not saying you should go, I say continue. <laughs> so he led the bank.
Fangar. He left the Fangar. Even as, as um, tumultuous as Kogi is, you can see my brother, Isa Jibrin. We call him a chocho. All the way from Kogi, all with me. And even as we looked around, which I turned around and I saw my deceived brother, if I remember, in the business world, you don't need any introduction. And then you come down to the former national chairman of my party, and you are seeing him here. Adam Oshobone, Oshobaba, Oshobaba. Behind me is the former governor of Ogun State, OGD, Otumba Benga Daniels. And of course, my brother from Abia State, I've told him, continue to take, when I take one step, you take your own. When I lift it, you put it there, and it shall be well with you. You spoke very presidential, but I'm not saying go for presidency. There's no vacancy. But you are, you are very presidential. And the minority leader of the Senate this year, this is just to underscore the fact that this is a PDP state for now. Did somebody hear me? Did somebody hear me? I said this is a PDP state for now. But we are working together. Imagine the governor of Kwaibom said, inviting me to government house with my colleagues to pay a call. Your Excellency, I don't take it for granted. Sometimes when you become an ancestor, after you have left government, people run away from you. There was a time I could not even pass government house gate, not because I wanted to. But I was a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I wrote a letter for a courtesy call. I gave it to my wife to go to that your government house and submit. She was left at the gate for five hours. The letter was never taken from her. She sent it by post and it was never acknowledged here today. Without prompting, you invited me and my colleagues. So don't be surprised that I turn up. I could have said I'm the number three citizen. I should choose where I go. But I came there, I thought I was coming to honor you, but you turned around to honor us and my colleagues. On behalf of the senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, they want to say, Governor Emmanuel, well done. Kudos, carry on, that God is giving you. But we have one advice for you. The advice we have for you is that you came into office as a pastor, don't live as a minister. You came into office as a pastor. Don't live as a minister. Hold on to that God. That God that you worship. That God you became a pastor for will see you through even after government. Because you come and tell us that you are a pastor. And we all jump up, celebrate you, and vote you into office because you are a pastor. Then three months later, you say, I'm no longer a pastor. Because you know the people of Kwaibom love God. And that they always identify with children of God. So after identifying with you, you don't change from Pastor Mano to Mr. Mano. And you say you want to be called Chief Dr. Mano. Don't put the pastor near my name. Please do not deny God. So long as you don't deny God, God will continue to be with you. My colleagues have told me to tell you that the National Assembly will work with you irrespective of political line, for you to succeed as governor of this state. So I won't tell you to come. I, I, did you hear what I said? I'm not saying come and join our party. I'm saying continue to hold on to God and that we will support you. We will support you to succeed. This is federal government of Nigeria on this stage. You receive the federal government of Nigeria with smiles. We will also receive you in Abuja with smiles. We will receive you with benefits of democracy that you come back and put for your people. You want nothing but you want a lucky deep sea port. Am I right? Yes. You want an opportunity to see federal projects. You shall see more than federal projects. Yes. From above, we are already realizing towards the correct You will see more than that. From above, we intend in the next budget to take it realized from above, through Parenin all the way to East West Road. You will see more than that. We intend to make sure that the, the coastal road passes through a quite with a big flyover for you because of you. That is why we are going to do all these things. 
because you love progress. Nothing to add that they say thank you for what you have done and thank you for coming. And somebody is just telling me now that I should be careful how I press you that election is coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Senator, Senator Akubondu said you should partner with the uh, NDDC to do a economic better. That the NDDC is ready to partner with you to do that role. So, is that not what you are saying, Senator Akubondo? The MD of NDDC is here, so we have noted it. So, it's going to be in your time that we have a dualized thoroughfare to pass through in the local government, pass through the local government, get to the current and from there we hit to you. May God bless your endeavors in Jesus' name. My colleagues, thank you. Thank you, and thank you once again. Then what can I say on a day like this? The Excellency, what should I say? My Lord, the Okay, uh, uh, my Lord, the Bishop said that now that I'm the grandfather of the governor, and the governor is my grandson, and that the job of the grandfather is to bless his children, and that for all of you that came this morning to be here, that I should just bless you. Do you want to receive the blessing? Yeah. Then God, just sing with me. Amen. Hey, 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 hey.